I was 17 when I first met Sasha. Sasha's real name was Alexander. I had given a speech the year before in Chicago in front of Ryan White's mother at the National Youth Conference on HIV and AIDS, which was the first big venue that I'd ever spoken at, but I didn't know anybody who was HIV positive. And then I met Sasha. Sasha was dark-skinned and a dancer and an absolutely gorgeous man. <laughs> with that dancer's body and high butt. <laughs> the beautiful smile. He's just a really incredible person. And he was nice to me. And, and we would laugh together and he would speak of dancing like it was the greatest love he'd ever known. He danced under Judith Jameson, who was the protege of Alvin Ailey. And it felt like to a 17-year-old reasonably sheltered kid that he had lived three lifetimes at once and he was only 18. And about a week into our friendship, he told me that he had become infected when he was 14 and had been living with the virus for four years. And I didn't fully understand it. I didn't understand how something that sounded so horrible, because you see, back then, people weren't living a very long time. I mean, I can remember back to when HIV and AIDS was known as GRID, gay-related immunodeficiency because they thought it could only happen to gay people. But Sasha had made it for four years and was still fabulous and had the most outrageous extension on his arabesque that I had ever seen. And I loved him. I loved his stories. I loved his joie de vivre. And then he went on as people in those days were wont to do. And he was the first of what would become countless people that I've lost to AIDS-related illness. And not all of these people were like Sasha. Not all of them were as close to me as he was. But there were many. Very many. Today is the day that we commemorate World AIDS Day. And I would just love for y'all to stop and, and think about that for a second. World AIDS Day. AIDS is something that has affected the whole world. And all these years later, and all these treatments later, We've come up with extraordinary ways to extend and prolong life and quality of life. It truly is a disease that you can live with now, but yet there is no cure. I want you all to take some time and think about this disease and how it may have affected you. And to consider those whom are infected and affected by it. Because we are living in a time where it is far more common to be aware of somebody living with this disease than ever before. It seems like We've gotten very caught up in this idea of men on the down low. Men who are having 
unprotected sex with men in secrecy and then going back and infecting us women. That is true. And they are out there. But that cannot be where our only focus lies. We have got to take responsibility for ourselves, for our bodies, for our reproductive organs, for our health. Because anytime, I don't care if it's in the first hour, the first date, the first anniversary, or the first 20th anniversary, anytime you lie down with a sexual partner and contraceptive devices are not employed, you are assuming a risk. We've got to take better care for ourselves and we've got to show some more compassion for each other. Celebrate those of us who are still here. Remember those of us who aren't. And consider World AIDS Day. I will.